Hello and welcome to a first look at Microsoft Excel 2010. In this overview video I'm going to create a simple spreadsheet including text numbers, create some calculations and add a simple chart as well at the end. The first thing I need to do is add a title for my spreadsheet so I'm going to call this one uh, a business name ABC Donuts Limited and the spreadsheet will be about the uh, the best sellers best selling donuts. So press the enter key once I finish typing, move down to the next row and I can just use the arrow key to come into cell B2 there. I'm going to type the word January into B2 and I'd like the next two cells to contain the next two months, so February and March, but I'm going to get Excel to do that for me by putting the mouse pointer at the bottom right of the cell there and then just click and drag across and you'll see that Excel automatically completes that series of dates. There's lots of automated features like that built into Excel and we'll explore some of those later on in future tutorials. Okay so let's come back to column A and click into cell A3 there and I'm going to enter my uh, three best-selling donuts. Well, for this business anyway. If you prefer other donuts, then you can enter your own names, I don't mind. So those are my uh, labels for my little spreadsheet, the main labels, and I'm going to enter some sales numbers now, or sales figures, and let's say in January for uh, Jam Donuts we sold maybe £100 worth, press the right arrow key to move across here, in February we'll say 150 and in March we'll say 195 Just use again the arrow keys to move around. So for custard, let's say we had uh, maybe 150 sold in January, 195 in February, and maybe 250 in March. Big surge there. And for chocolate, let's say we sold 175 in January, 200 in February, and maybe 225 in March. Okay, so those are the figures, and I'm going to add a new row on now to create some totals. So I'm going to add a, a label at the beginning of that row, total. Just press the right arrow key again, move across. And I can create the totals very quickly. Just click and drag across to select those three cells where I want my totals to appear. And then make sure you have the Home tab highlighted. And if you come across the right-hand side of the Home tab, you'll see the Auto Sum button there. Just click that and it'll automatically pop the totals in for me. I also want to have totals down in column E here for each of the product lines and the grand total to appear at the end of the total row. So I'm going to add a new label at the top there in cell E2. Again, call it total. Press the Enter key and then just select the four cells there where I'd like my totals to appear. Again, just click that Auto Sum button and Excel puts the totals in there for me. And you may notice above the spreadsheet in this formula bar here, you can actually see the calculation that Excel is using to create the result. Okay, so I have my numbers and calculations all entered and I want to now do a bit of formatting because the spreadsheet is looking a bit plain there. First thing I'm going to do here is select the cells A1 across to E1 and then click on this Merge and Center button here. If I click on that, you'll see what happens. It merges those cells together and centers my title. I can then increase the size of that a little bit by clicking the drop down arrow on the font size button there. And as I move the mouse down the numbers, you will see that I get an instant preview. So I can see if I select a size that's too big or too small before I actually click on the appropriate one. I'm just going to choose font size 14 for now. And also apply bold formatting there make it stand out. I'm also going to select all the labels so I'm going to select total March, February and January then hold down the control key and simultaneously select jam right down to total. So all the labels click on B for bold again to make those stand out and I'm also going to apply bold formatting to my grand total so just click on that one cell and highlight that. I'm also going to select all the cells from E6 right back up to A1 and apply a border, a grid around all the cells and to do that just click on this drop down borders button here, select the all borders option 
and if I click away you'll see it's applied a stronger grid around the cells. Excel does obviously have a grid of its own but when you print your spreadsheet by default that grid doesn't appear so by applying if you like a formatted grid that will show up when you print. Okay I'm going to apply some colors as well here now so if I click in my title this time to click on the drop down where the fill color tool is and as you see again as I move over these different options it gives me a live preview I'm just going to select this um, maybe a light blue there for the title and I'm going to select all the cells again from E2 right back to A2 again hold down the control key select A3 down to A6 so I have all the titles selected and this time we'll apply a different color maybe the light, light green there and just to make my grand total stand out as well I'll choose another color for that and we'll maybe go for this light orange color. One more thing I'll do here is actually apply currency symbols to my numbers because it may not be obvious that I'm talking about currency values as opposed to quantities. So I'm going to select all the numbers in this case from B3 down to E6 and over in the number section of the home tab there's a button there currency and if I just click on that you'll see it applies the currency formatting it also applies two decimal places now in this particular case I don't want those so I'm going to come across a bit further on that number section to this button here that will decrease the decimal numbers or decimal places but if I just click that twice it'll take those decimals away and leave you with the whole values again now my currency is pound signs by default because I'm in the UK and that's what my computer set to show. If you're in the USA for example it's probably defaulted to the dollar symbol however if you do want to change it then next to that currency button there's a small drop down arrow and it does offer the three most common currencies as options and there are many more available as well by selecting more accounting formats. So if I just press the escape key that'll cancel that menu. And if I just click away you will see my final spreadsheet there. Now one last bit of formatting I will actually do is select all my total figures apart from the grand total that I've already formatted and just make those bold as well. Click away again. Now I might want to use these numbers as part of a presentation so I'd like to make the spreadsheet look a bit more interesting and to do that I'm going to add a chart and I'm going to select to create the chart cells A2 down to D5 now that includes obviously all the titles there and all the numbers but it does exclude the main title and it does exclude the total figures as well because the total figures would distort the chart and I don't want to include those. So once I've got my selection click on the insert menu click on the column chart button and simply select the first option 2D column chart. Once I've clicked on that the chart appears I can then click and drag that to reposition it below my data and then click away so there we have a nice chart and my data. Now the nice thing about a spreadsheet, an electronic spreadsheet as opposed to a paper based one is that any changes you make will automatically update all the linked calculations. So in this case I have total calculations linked to the main data and I've also got the chart linked as well and I can demonstrate how that works by if I click in cell B3 which is my sales for January for jam and let's say I've made a mistake and the figure for that should have been 200 and not 100 so if I type in there 200 before I press the enter key keep an eye on the total figure down the bottom there you'll also notice the grand total changes and also if you look at the blue bar on the chart when I press the enter key you'll see that all those things instantly change and I'm going to undo that, just Control Z to undo and let's make it even more dramatic, change it to 250 and again you'll see how it all updates instantly as soon as I enter the new value. So I hope I've shown you there that Excel is not only a great way of organizing information it's also a great time saver so whenever you update your data all the calculations and any charts that are linked to that data instantly updates. It's a very useful tool. So now you've seen how easy it is to create a simple spreadsheet. Let's go on and work on other examples, show you more features in Excel and turn you into, I hope, an Excel expert. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you found some things in there that were useful and I'll see you next time.